Now, welcome back our resident designer, Hamish Dodd, and you've brought an expert with you today too. Welcome back, Robert. Thank you. I did. I brought Robert along uh, because this week we're going to talk about you know, how to choose the correct framing for your art. Um, this can be done poorly. I've been asked lately by quite a few clients to go and get things framed and I thought that, hey, I may as well learn on the job just like everyone else and Robert's here to answer a few questions. And there are completely different sort of sorts of framing, isn't there? There's there is. flat pictures that you can frame, but there's also 3D things that you can frame like jerseys. So let's get to it. Um, what do you think is on trend at the moment when it comes to framing? Uh, vintage is current, right. of course. Um, ornate has always been... Uh, in vogue. When you say vintage, what do you mean? Um, anything that goes with your, if you could imagine, modernist, postmodernist furniture. Right, okay, um, cool. Streamlined, wood finish, uh, high polished metal, nice. those sorts of things. Okay. Oh, that's a really good look. I like yeah. that, actually. I was yeah. thinking you meant something that you just sort of half sanded yourself and left there with vintage. <laughs> Not that look? It's whatever you want. Okay, it's whatever yeah. you want it to be. I see. Fair enough. Those things sound really good. The um, streamlined look is always very popular. The Art Deco, I like the thought yeah. of that. Yeah. When it comes to framing your special things, say you've got something like a T-shirt or maybe your baby's booties, what do you have to factor in when you want to do some framing for that? Your budget. Firstly, uh -huh. size, your scale, how big you want to go with it, because that'll affect budget, mm -hmm. um, and where it's going to hang, because quite often the framing that you choose may suit the booties, yes, but it's not really going to suit, suit your you. foyer, right. for example. The so decor you, that you yeah, that's right. right. And what about when it comes to getting the right type of glass? Because if you've got something like an All Blacks jersey, you don't want that to frame. Can you get certain types of glass? I mean, don't want it to fade, rather. Yeah. Can you get certain types of glass? You, you can, but it comes with a hefty right, price okay. tag. Yeah. What's museum yeah. glass? I've heard about that. Is that yeah. special stuff? It is special stuff, yeah. It, it, it eliminates glare and UV, which is the... Uh, UV ray is the most potent kind of degrader of your artwork. It would be pricey though, wouldn't it? It is, yeah, and, but it varies. You can get initially UV glass, and then you can get conservation glass, then you can get non-glare UV conservation glass. So there's, there's stages of the That's of the what glass. you get for your All Blacks jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a collector's that. piece, especially yeah. if it's been signed, that's no, for and, sure. And that, that sort of stuff can be quite difficult, but it's nice framing it because it is a memory that you're going to keep for it a is, long time. Yeah. Is it better to let an expert do that, or can you do it yourself? Oh, give it a go yourself. I can give it a go? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no um, the problem with jerseys, of course, is, is that for big guys. Right. And so they often end up this big by the time you're finished. Right. Uh, we've framed several that are nice and small because of course firstly their budget wasn't uh, able to sustain that price secondly they didn't want it to be over the fireplace so it could just sit in the games room for example yeah. Smaller. That's the thing you want. Because you can fold the arms in. You can fold the arms in as long as the emblems are there and the, the signatures aren't kind of folded back. You want the important bits. That's what's it. the craziest thing that you've ever had to frame? <laughs> a cat. A, a cat? cat? Excuse me, sorry, what's <laughs> a cat? <laughs> yep, somebody came in and said, this is my lovely Mandy. Um, can we retain her? So we had to basically make a glass coffin for her. You framed a cat, <laughs> yeah. and that's a great tip. We're going to leave it right there with that one. Thank you guys wow. so much for coming in. Framing your cats, and there you go, Mike. You can what? get all your medals and your ice skating oh. you know, medals, which is whatever. <laughs> you don't have. You can get those all framed. Check on your, your 80s memorabilia, perhaps. Yeah, no, hey, look, thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. I um, appreciate that.